Good morning, everyone. Today is Saturday morning, the 27th of March, 2021. And I've been thinking of that song, I Come to the Garden Alone, While the Dew is Still on the Roses. And his voice I hear calling on my ear, the Son of God discloses. And he walks with me and he talks with me. And he tells me I am his own. And the joy we share as we tarry there, none other has ever known. Well, Jesus Christ does speak to his people. And in, sometimes it's in a very, very quiet way. Other times it's uh, louder. The Holy Spirit shows himself to us in a real way. The Holy Spirit has many functions. He convicts us of our sin. He is our comforter. He is our sustainer. He's our encourager, and he's our guide, our guide, and uh, Arthur W. Pink wrote a book entitled The Holy Spirit, and he tells all the different uh, roles or functions the Holy Spirit plays. It's quite an interesting book if you have a chance to get your hand on it, The Holy Spirit by Arthur W. Pink. We have many things that we encounter on a daily basis, interactions with other people, um, things that we have to encounter in dealing with uh, issues that come up in our lives. But God's Holy Spirit is always there to give us comfort and to give us um, encouragement guidance and he said if I go away I will send a comforter and I'm glad that he did send the comforter especially in the times that we're living in satisfaction comes from knowing that within my heart and mind there's an inner peace a glowing and in Christ I can find a refuge for the soul when life is tough to take. Christ tells us in his word, I will never thee forsake. Oh, the joy and peace it gives me when I rest in what he said, believing that he is living, having raised up from the dead. Christ, the King of glory, is seated on his royal throne, and he intercedes for me when in my spirit I can only groan. Lord, show mercy to this floundering heart once more, I pray, so at sunrise, noon, or evening, I may in thy presence stay. May your grace so envelop everything I say and do that the world will have no question that I am your child too. Let the tribulations I go through be a witness of your grace. May my enemies not overtake me, let their curses be erased. May your power, love, and purpose be demonstrated in my life, and may I find satisfaction in the midst of all this strife. And when I draw my last breath and I'm taken home to be with you, may my passing over be of satisfaction too. I'll be satisfied in knowing, even though it's been a test, that I'm now transcending into your perfect rest. Well, I want to conclude this this morning with Christ brings calm to the soul. Christ brings calm to my soul when the changes of wind blow, when it seems a mystery of which way I should go. Christ brings calm to my soul when questions vex my mind. I have always found that in Christ I can find comfort knowing he's in control. Christ brings calm to my soul when nothing seems to change. His cool waters of blessing he does for me arrange. Christ will bring calm to my soul when I'm lying close to death. May I praise his holy name when I take my last breath. May the good Lord be with you this day is my prayer. God bless.